Hello everyone and welcome back to Twelve Universe. Just a quick tutorial on Arch Heart on how to use it without actually having to install it. I did make a video, another video on it, how to use the custom, you know, um, flight script. So uh, check it out, it looks like that. But if you want to use it without having to uh, put any files in there, for example, uh, the streaming services like what is it, uh, GeForce Now, something, blah blah blah, the streaming service, you know, uh, you can't put files in there. So in that case, you need to use the mini version, which doesn't have some of the options. So I will show you how to do that. There is still a way. It's just a little bit more complex, but uh, let's just uh, pick a ship. I think I'll just uh, use one of the ships on the roof just for ease of access so all right let's use that one i haven't even updated it on this one but uh, i'll just put new seats and just show you from the start how to do this okay so um it's a little bit dark in here but you don't really need to see let's just put it down in here so uh first what we need is obviously a seat the control seat and then we also need a data bank uh, i actually have a data bank in there uh, so we put the seat down like so, then we put uh, this down, then we link that to the seat in here. And if for some reason you can't, you know, copy and paste this yourself, like if you're using some, uh, you know, streaming service and you can't, you know, paste it into the Lua yourself. Uh, for example, in here, copy and paste the Lua config configuration to from uh, clipboard these are very important you can just copy the entire thing over from ship to ship you know without having to um, reapply it and if this seat would already have any script on it then you can do this copy and then you can go to another seat and paste the same configuration so that's how it works but the arch hot you have to either copy this thing it's this uh, minified version this one I'll just apply it on that one and then we press uh, Ctrl L by default or you can go uh, right click advanced and uh, edit Lua script Ctrl L. So in here we go into unit and on start uh, make sure the wrap lines is on and this is where you can change whatever the heart does. For example in here uh, this in here says virtual joystick which we can change to um, keyboard. Uh, this here is uh, use these settings, yes or no. Uh, true is yes, false is no. Uh, so to make it a little bit easier for you, if someone else can do that for you, then that's uh, really good. But if not, then um, yeah, actually you do need to copy from somewhere else if you can't copy it yourself. So I'll just put this seat in here as a reference and I'll put the normal arch hot on it. On a normal one we can go here and edit Lua parameters and that's the one use these settings that I changed true or false and that's the keyboard. Uh, so these are the default settings in here as you can see and you can use this as a reference. You can either slow down my video and look from here for reference or if your friend can put it on, then you can use that as reference. Uh, see, I'll just scroll through it slowly. What is what? You can always stop the video or pause the video. That's fine, you know. Uh, so, for example, let's say we want to change um, break toggle and bright heart, right? We want to change. So, um, we're going to look which option it is. After these, it's... Uh, Second one is break toggle and the fourth one is bright heart. So remember those uh, We go in here again into this seat in here uh, We go here and just by eye because this entire thing is line uh, 72. I'm not sure if you can put the uh, Breaks in here. I think you can but I I'm not gonna mess with it. It's fine. So anyway, this is the options uh, I just looked at Right, and that's the use these settings. So what was it? It was a uh, second one was break. We don't want break toggle, which we put false. And we do want the bright heart, which was fourth one. See, one, two, three, four. So that's the bright heart. And this one was break toggle. You can also uh, write these down somewhere as a reference, like what these mean, like J, K, L, 
they make absolutely no sense in here but that's the minified version and that's why it doesn't make sense but all the values are here as you can see here are the, all the values true false true false whatever they are you just have to use the other one as a reference and for example in here this i already know that's the speed limit the atmospheric speed limit uh, i know it so well uh, this is the talking mode in here this one uh, one two and three are the values i think two is automatic and three is semi-automatic and one is manual uh, then what else do we have in here uh, this part in here this this is just no um, parameters in there to change as you can see see this is just some of the code that changes it you don't need to change that just look for the green uh, actually not even the green it's just this one uh, oh, mate I triple clicked it accidentally uh, it's just this one you might want to change oh, where did it go uh, this one in here you might want to change to keyboard if you want to use keyboard then uh, this one in here so look for the ones that have true or false and then the yellow values uh, for example this is the hard uh, screen ratio uh, this I don't know what this is then uh, these are the hard colors which is uh, I don't know who wrote them like this. Why is it A F A G A H? Wouldn't it better to put like uh, red, green, blue? So um, A R uh, A G. That's actually green, and then um, A B for you know, red, green, blue. Somewhere here is also the um, P V P hot colors. Here, that's the P V P colors. And what else do we have in here? Somewhere is the hard tick rate. You might want to change that. Uh, it's this one here. See, that's the hard tick rate in here. Uh, let's put it on 0 0.3. I like it slower so it doesn't lag up your computer, you know. Uh, landing gear, not the landing gear, the hover height is... Um, it's 50 by default, so uh, 50, 50, 50. No, I think it's a little bit... No, it's here somewhere. Let's just apply this and let's use the other one as a reference. So we do that, edit, and let's see where is hover height. So it's a little bit after that. Yeah, I, I was probably just looking at it. Here, yeah, that's the hover height, as you can see, so you can modify that. And then there is one more thing to note. See, this part in here is where you can either manually copy the stuff, or if you override it, then, um, yeah, that's going to be a problem in here. You need to update this manually if you can't copy paste it because if you copy paste it's also going to replace this part which is not what you want so i think the best part to do in here if you want to copy and paste this from ship to ship then um copy the entire section that you changed in here because this doesn't change and make sure you copy it up to a point where you know Let's say, uh, see vertical takeoff engine, just before that you can copy that, right? Uh, I'm gonna first show you that it does um, effect. So let's uh, get into the seat and show you how the heart looks like right now. See, that's how it looks like and the brake is not on a toggle mode. See, I press it, hold it, let it go and it goes off. So, and keyboard is the default. Now I'm gonna change the hot color on it. So, uh, go back in here, um, color, where was color, uh, <clears throat> here, let's remove red completely, and let's reduce the um, green to like 150, uh, 255 or FF in hex, that's the maximum you can have, it's like the lights, and now the hot color has changed, see? Now it's ni nice and light blue. So, this is how you change it. And now I'll show you how to uh, link the radars and stuff. Because this is a little bit tricky. Like I said, it's going to overwrite the stuff. But um, uh, these are all the things you can link up to it. And if you copy it from somewhere else, I'll just show you. I'll put, um, I'll put a radar on it just to show you. But before I... Um, actually, you can link them. That's fine. You can link them up. But they won't show up. That's the only problem. 
uh, for that, you need to go back here. <clears throat> See, nothing's changed in here. And let's do what I said before. Let's copy this part from exactly the function down to um, here. See, vertical takeoff. So let's copy. And let's uh, check that it's copied. We do that. Paste it. It's fine. Cancel it. <clears throat> yes, I didn't want to save it. And now what we do is... Um, I don't know why I went into build mode. Let's just reapply it. Uh, so it's this one. It destroyed my custom Lua. Now we go back here. And as you can see, there is the radar values. So it's actually really easy. You can just write this out yourself. It's really that simple. And I believe it's the same with everything else in here. Uh, so let's paste this back first. See it all uh, reset back to default. So we're going to paste all this over again. Uh, so where is it? Where was the vertical? Um, okay, that's a little bit difficult now because it's... Okay, here it is. So, and paste. <coughs> let's check. Uh, okay, that's fine. Apply and now let's get into the seat and check that um, radars are working. Radars are working and my values are working. So this is how you do it without, you know, messing up any of your values. So you have to copy paste a lot. Let me just try with a switch without actually reapplying it. And let's see if it works. So we're gonna put, um, switch. Whoops, what is that? Not a witch, just a switch. Okay. That was a bad joke. Right, let's put it here. Let's link it to um, that. And let's also put something on it so I can actually see if it works properly. Let's put a relay. And I already have lights in there, so let's... Uh, link that to it. And then let's put a light in here. Okay, so if I sit into the seat, then it should go off. I mean, it shouldn't right now. Yeah, I can't see shit. Okay, you can see the light is on. Clearly it's on. And it doesn't change because it's not in there. But let me try to add it manually and see if it works. So it's the switch. Let's do the same. So we put the switch 1 equals uh, switch 1. I don't know if that works. Should work. Let's see. Okay, it's on. The light is on. Let's see if it goes off. No, it didn't. Okay, let's try to rerun it and let's see what the issue is. So, let's do that again. Okay, let's go. Let's see the switch. Where is switch? Uh, did I forget the switch size? Is that what I forgot? Because it looks identical to me, uh, what I wrote in there. So let's just co uh, paste one more time. I don't have to, but I don't know why I'm even doing that. So, uh, now it's a little bit more down. Paste that in there, apply. Let's see if it uh, switches the switch now. Yep, light went off. Did I really forgot the switch size? Is that what I forgot? Anyway, this is how you save your settings. So this is the part you want to edit and this is the part you want to uh, copy and paste uh, over the other one. And you can just have like a reference seat. Just let someone put it on and then uh, don't touch it, you know. Or edit whatever you want. And then you can just put it on other ships and it should work. Alright, I'm a little bit unsettled in here. I want to give this uh, force field a try. I want to try to add that same way. So, uh, let's let's try the force field. I need to try that. Okay, let's put it down here. Let's turn it on and let's link it to the seat. It uh, turned off for some reason. Let's try without it, that it's not linked. Okay, the light works. I saw it turn off and on. Force field doesn't do anything. So let's try the force field, shall we? Force field. Let's do the same thing exactly as with um, 
What did I do with the switch, right? Force field one. Force field one. And force field size should be one, right? Let's try. Nothing? Come on. Still nothing. Why? Okay, so it's apparently slot seven. Okay, so I think what we need to do is uh, it's slot seven, right? Okay, I think I got it. So instead of that, where is the force field? This is not force field one at all. This is uh, slot seven. I think that's what it is. Let's try again. Ha! There you go. That was the issue. Yep, now it works. See, it turns on when I um, exit the seat. And if I re-enter the seat, it goes off. That's perfect. So, you don't need to rerun it. And this is for the GeForce and other uh, streaming services. If you can't reapply it yourself, you know. If you don't have a shared clipboard or anything. Or for whatever reason, you can't paste it yourself. So, this is how you do it. You can link the stuff and it shows up in here and you need to figure out like I did which uh, slot is what and then you just type it in here and that's it. So um, see the switch is uh, switch one in here and I believe if I will refresh that then the slot seven will become a force field. I think I can yeah see I can even write it in there. See I can do that uh, force field one see you can do that. And then we can go back in here and change that back to uh, force field one. I've never done this before, so um, let's recheck one more time. Yep, and it works. See, the force field goes on, the light goes off, yeah, that's perfect. And like I said, then uh, all you need to do is just keep one of these seats with one of these values you like. and. Uh, if you like what you have, like force fields and everything, all the Lua code, then right click on it, advanced, copy Lua configuration to clipboard, and then let's um, advanced and paste, and let's check this seat now. It should have the same code in here. Yep, including all the force fields and stuff. It doesn't matter if you have it specified in here, if it's not here, it doesn't matter, you know. See, it's here, but they're not connected. That's what it means. But the code is here, so uh, once you connect them up, it will recognize them, and that's how easy it is. So I hope this is helpful, and well, I will see you all next time.